came by here right quick to remind you that God still sits high, looks low, and will visit you at your home. He will visit you that is tuning in right now. You're locked up in the prison cell. He will meet you in the prison cell. He will cause an early release if you will acknowledge him and praise him. It's not about how good you've been to him. It's about how good he's been to you. Let's look at the book of Genesis one more game before I get ready to shift out of here. I want you to understand that the text and the scripture says that if God be for you, he's more than the world against you. So it doesn't matter what's happening on television. It doesn't matter what's happening on the news. It does not have to get to your house. God is telling Abram there's going to be a shift in your life. Many of us, let's be honest, as Christians, we get saved. And somebody forgot to tell us it was about to be a shift in my house. Hold on. Somebody forgot to tell us. Somebody forgot to tell us that we were going to have to walk away from some things, to walk into some things. Sometimes they forget to remind us that uh, we might have to be held up, but we're going to always come through. God is telling Abram ahead of time that I'm going to bless you when you come and I'm going to bless you when you go. You are the seed of Abram. You are the seed of Abraham. Somebody holler out, I'm the seed of Abraham. When God spoke to Abraham, he was speaking to me. Now let's go back into the text so we can see clearly again what God was saying to Abraham because I want you to understand that when you are blessed, according to the book of Isaiah, there is no weapon that will form that will prosper. It did not say you wouldn't go through anything. It did not say a weapon would not be formed against you. Several weeks ago now, I've been dealing with uh, 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 David and Goliath. And showing how Goliath was huge in stature. He was like a mountain of a man. He was solid as a rock. There was nobody, if you go in the powerhouse today, you see all of them pumping up. What nobody in powerhouse today can compare to a Goliath. Goliath was so huge. His, his, his armor was so huge. He was very intimidating to look at. And I begin to show you how David didn't look at what he was coming up against. He looked at who was for him. I came to tell you that if God is for you, and he is, there is no weapon that has already formed. There are some things that you're looking at that has been formed against you. Some of you got some court dates, but if you'll learn to praise God right where you are, knowing that you already come out. Some of you got some bad doctor's reports, but I came to prophesy to you right now that if you will praise God for your miracle, Tumors are about to dry up. Miracles are about to happen in this place. If you will just pray. Pray. Sit down. He says, read on, Joseph. Listen very carefully. He said, I'm going to bless you when you come. Go ahead. And I will make of thee a great nation. Say it again. And I will make of thee a great nation. Which means I'm going to multiply you. Continue to read. And I will bless thee and make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. That means he said, he, said, he said, I'll shift. I'll shift what people have said about you concerning you if it has been in the negative, even if it was true, if you appraise me. <laughs> Somebody got that. Some things they said was true, boo. But God said, I shift the truth and let it work together for your good. He's talking to Abram, but you're in Abram while he's talking because you're the seed that he ain't released yet, but you're the seed that's going to meet the need for somebody in your family, somebody on your job. Somebody in your school. Somebody's got to carry the blessings of Abraham. Why not you? Mm. Mm. Read, Joseph. 
And I will bless them that bless thee. I, 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 I'm not only going to give you a great name. <laughs> My God. But after I give you a great name, now, now you're going to have two kinds of people. You're going to have people want to be connected to you because you got a great name. You're going to have people that want to hate on you because you got a great name. He said, I'm going to bless them to bless you. Now, I came to tell some of you that all that I've already blessed, co-passed on last week, sold into her life. Uh, you didn't do her a favor. You did yourself a favor because you identified the greater one that is in her because of the greater one in you. Wait a minute. Waiting to be awakened. And you're acknowledging that God gave her to bless you. And in that, there is a stirring in the spirit. In elementary school, we call it connect the dots. All right. All right. All right. Some of you have so far removed from the elementary things of life. Uh, you forget how you learned how to put things together. You forget that everything has a connection that makes it work. And they had something, you know, I'm going through it again with my children because uh, I have little ones. And I got two-year-olds and nine-year-olds and, uh, you know, we're still doing connect the dots. And connect the dots sometimes, there is a, um, <laughs> there's a piece of paper with a bunch of dots on it. And each dot is numbered. And to make it simple for the child, it's normally uh, when they're learning their one, two, threes, and, 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 and so on and so on, four, five, six. So you would draw a line from one to two and, and to two to three. And if you miss it, then the picture won't be as clear as it would have, so you won't know the purpose or the intent of what's been printed with the dots. And, and so you had to connect the dots right. And so when you heard people honoring her, they were just connecting the dots right. <laughs> Somebody, somebody's, somebody's getting in. So Abram, 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 whoever blesses you, I, I'm, I'm going to bless them, Abram. And then he goes on to say, Abram, whoever curses you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to curse. And so as you being the seed of Abraham, whoever blesses you, going to be blessed. Now, but now if you, if you disconnect from the dot that you connected from, then now you're trying to become part of the picture and you connected to the wrong dot. It's like, it's like if we're the senior dots here that you're supposed to connect to and then connect each other, but you decide to go around us and shift to somebody sitting next to you, well, then you miss the connection. Now the picture's messed up. It's not that the house is distorted. It's your picture. And so it happens in our homes. When the children bypass the parents or, or the husband and wife bypass each other, all of a sudden what was supposed to be there, all of a sudden it's not a clear picture. So it doesn't mean that it's not blessed. It just means that today we got to erase some things and eradicate the line. We're going somewhere. We're going, we're going to eradicate the line. Thank God. Somebody say, thank God for the eraser. Now ask me, say, Bishop, what's the eraser? The blood, baby, the blood of Jesus. <laughs>